Thank you, Banks. And on this video, I'm gonna be going over a little tutorial, not the official tutorial, but a little tutorial on using Trade Locker and how to actually you know, navigate. Because when it comes to even playing with a new platform, even using a new platform, a person is not gonna ever feel comfortable if they don't understand on how to navigate through the entire platform. So for one, Trade Locker is a trading platform. Um, as you guys may know, like, you know, everyone, everyone knows um, Metacolts is uh, MT4, MT5. That's what we all pretty much started trading on. You know, that's pretty much the norm in the trading niche overall. And at the same time, um, coming out with a, a trading platform that can actually offer, um, you know, similar features, but also better features as well, um, which was the main focus on this entire product. Something that's a bit more modern, something that's a bit more up to date with technology that we actually have access to now. Um, knowing that, you know, MT4 and MT5 are a lot older platforms, still work great and that kind of thing, yes, but at the same time, seeing how, you know, I'm a person that loves to innovate when it comes to the, the trading niche. I'm just right here is one of our um, newest products that we're actually launching. So, Trade Locker has been out for um, several months now at the same time you know we're still working on a few things but I'll, I'll, at, well at the same time still kind of like um you know giving people a a little sneak peek on how the, everything works it is now also on a few platforms as well um i know that it's on vitalmarkets.com and, and, and it's also on kot4x.com as well um as live accounts so um i personally use kot um with my trade locker account like at the moment works very very smooth um, there's, you know, there's, there's kinks every now and again, but there's a consistent update each and every single week. And I'm going to go over that as well when it comes to the roadmap that is offered by Trade Locker. So I'm, I'm going to go over a few things so you guys actually understand on how, to on how to navigate throughout this entire product. And then pretty much show you guys some of the roadmap as well. So this right here is pretty much um, the overall main platform. All right. As you, you know, you, you have the option to also move this area right here up and down. This is right here where you actually have your positions once you're actually in a, a trade. For example, let's say if I'm looking at this trade like right here on USDJPY, which is um, which, I, which I can actually locate based on my market, um, well, like my marketplace right here, all right? Showing all of the market data, all of the assets that you could actually trade. Um, on MT4 and MT5, it's called the market watch but you can pretty much select all of your instruments all right here you can focus on either crosses exotics majors energies shares cryptos indexes metals shares mini forex forex pro cross forex um vera cross mini indexes forex pro majors and forex vera majors as well so let's say if i'm focused on this currency pair like at the moment or if i want to switch you know to any one of these up to you all right but as you can see, once I actually click the asset, immediately you could actually modify the kind of lot size that you want to use. Either if, it, if it's micro lots, mini lots, or even whole lots. Let's say if I'm looking at USJPY and I press buy, boom. All right, you could now confirm that you will actually want to enter that position, or you could either turn on one click trading. All right, you could turn it on here, or you could turn it on up here. Click here and click one click trading right here to, to activate that entire feature, which means that instead of you actually clicking a, a order, it, it won't actually to confirm. Now watch, one click trading is on. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm tripping. Boom, and now it's automatically in. One click trading is on, as you can see, boom. And that means I'm automatically in that position immediately, all right, without the confirmation. Second cool thing, also is this right here above the lot size um, you have your margin that is required to even enter this order and also the percentage of your account um, based on that lot size which is pretty cool you have your prices right here for your buy and sell um, you also have the option to even like if you if you have a certain currency pair or a certain asset that you actually want to favorite all, all you have to do is right click over here click either go, go to instrument which actually pops up the chart or you can either right click right click and click add to favorites so you can have set favorites um, based on all this so you don't have to actually scroll the entire time click um, on your favorites the, the star and then based on you actually highlighting things as your favorites that pops up based on you clicking um, the favorites tab right here 
So even if it's, um, let's say, indexes, I, I love you, you're sturdy, as you can see, a star is right there as well. Um, so if I go on all of my assets, it pretty much shows all of my favorite assets based on that as well, which is pretty cool. Or you can just search it out, you know, your choice, all right? Let's go back on US JPY. Uh, when it even comes to charting, charting is probably like one of the most important things as well. Like if, if I don't want to show this the entire time, put it down, put it away, you won't see it again, all right? And let's say if I actually want to do a markup, this right here is, all, is also sponsored by TradingView as well. So you have the access, you have access to TradingView charts as well as a trading platform to actually make this a nice and suitable trading platform for you, all right? Let's say if I, if I want to actually you know, do a couple markups and everything, you know what I'm saying? Like I can actually do all that right here on the main screen when it comes down to it. But also if I want to even, you know, um, play with my fibs a little bit, all right? Let's say I want to play with my fibs. Right now it's black. I, I could just double tap on my fib settings either one of the FIB percentages or any area where the FIB is, double click on that. You can actually modify everything. I modified this a, lot, a bit earlier actually to um, you know set like my TPs, like my TP1, my TP2, that kind of thing. Um, since, the, since the chart is currently black, I could put it to a lighter color if I want to as well. Um, I could also change the labels. Um, you know, is it based on the left side or the right side? You know, where is everything aligned? Um, if I want to actually base things on percentages or, or, or values, it's up to you as well. Me, me personally, I like the percentages and also I like to also keep just percentages. Like the default settings is showing the prices as well. Me personally, I don't, I don't really need that. I click all that stuff off. And also on average, it starts off with a background. Take that off as well. So it looks nice and nice and clean compared to me actually having to go on my trading view chart to actually look and go back and forth, back and forth between charting platform and trading platform, charting platform and trading platform is pretty much everything in one. So um, we can pretty much, you know, do, do that as well. As you can see, like based on even this little move, like right here as well, this pretty much said that it actually hit TP1, which is negative 27% and TP2, which is negative 61.8% based on how things currently look like right now. Um, so, you, so you have access to all of your trading view tools, every single one of them. As well as you know all of your your um, line tools as well horizontal lines arrows all that stuff if you want if you want to point out certain things all that can be done right here on the actual platform itself and you can do all this while you're executing your trades at the same time which is pretty cool um if you also want to close a certain trade you, know, you have access to show all this you have access to um show your position id to edit a certain trade if you want to actually change your stop loss and that kind of stuff currently um it's not showing well it shows but at the same time like if i if i let's say put in the price that i want to actually put on my, my stop loss let's say i put 140.000 cool confirm boom it won't show here but based on it having um that current setting that that, that we have on on the software at this point in time it does not show it but it is an active stop loss as well tp same concept but in the upcoming updates, you will have access to see all of your stop losses and all of your TPs on the actual chart. Um, it's just one feature that we actually wanted to actually implement later on because we we we're trying to, to do things a little bit different because some people like to just see where they entered and they don't want to see so much on the chart at one time, which we understood. So making, it, making that an option is very, very important. So that will be on the next upcoming updates when it comes down to it. All right, let's say if I want to put this away, all right, um, and I want to even expand the chart. I could click like right here, full screen mode, boom. And then you could have access to showing this entire thing on a full screen. But also in the future, we're going to be having um, on chart trading, which means that you're not going to you're not going to need to have to have to have the whole platform open to trade the kind of charts or the type of assets that you do want to trade because everything will be accessible from just trading on a full screen by itself. It's going to be very very seamless when it comes down to it. Also, um, over here you have access to, you know, if we ever are out of, of scale, you could um, either, let's say, take off auto, for example, and it's, it fucks up the entire scale, which is normal, right? If you're charting that kind of stuff, like that kind of stuff is bound to happen. Click auto on the bottom right, same concept like how you are doing on your normal trading view platform. Oh, and after that, um, up here, you have access to see all of your 
account settings. You have your account balance, your profit and loss, equity, margin use, margin available, uh, margin level percentage, um, and the credit just in case you have um, credits based on the brokers that you're using. So like I said, it is offered on multiple brokers at this point in time and it's gonna be actually expanding as time goes on as well. Um, yeah, so from that, if you have any kind of issues, you could either click your um, feedback button as well to kind of give us some feedback to see like how we're doing, what can we improve on, and just to make you guys know, it is going to be many, many updates as time goes on, which is normal for when it comes to developing a software. All right, next thing next is our roadmap. Our roadmap is pretty much um, the area where you'll be seeing a lot of the future updates, future, um, you know, major news for the actual product itself um if you actually want to go on on the, the main page you can as well tradelocker.com you can see all the updates when it comes to this entire software and by going on the roadmap you have access to seeing based on quarters when all these updates are going to be happening all right as you can see there's a tons of updates instruments sorted by re by re relevance um, on chart trading, which I, which I was talking about a little earlier, um, trade size input options, um, mobile push notifications, stop loss and take profit options, like what I was saying er earlier as well, trailing stops, lock, stop loss and TP ratio option. That is a super dope option. I can't wait for you guys to experience that. Um, and so much more actually. Um, late 2023, a lot of options as well. Full screen trade panel. That's going to be freaking insane. Shareable trades. This is all a part of when it comes to the social part or the social aspect of the platform that I was speaking on as well. It's going to eventually turn into a platform that you could then have the ability to even stream on and broadcast um, either a class or some kind of thing that you're doing based on your your program that you might also be able to run on Trade Locker as well. So it's so much to actually look forward to when it comes to this entire platform. Um, as you can see, the next ge the next generation, you have um, Trade Locker custom scripts where you could actually create EAs and that kind of stuff, and also offer the EAs on the actual platform as well. Um, social mode, affiliate mode, jet mode, um, all these other options that is going to be happening in the future of Trade Locker. So, thanks guys for for listening. Hopefully, you guys can actually take advantage of the platform, take advantage of learning the platform because at one point in time. All these platforms that are, that's out now that you guys know and adore was also new at one point as well. So, um, welcome Trade Locker to one of those options that you guys can take full advantage of and trade like how you want to trade on the brokers that you guys love. All right. So, see you guys soon and thanks for listening and comment some feedback in the comments. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. Peace out.